Hello everyone, this is Fine from Awesome Tech Gaming Pro. I hope you all are well. AMD Ryzen 9 7950X CPU Cinebench R23 benchmark leaked up to 34% faster single core and 50% faster multi core uplift versus 5950X. The latest benchmarks of AMD's Ryzen 9 7950X 16 core flagship CPU have been leaked within the Cinebench R23 benchmark. The same user has uh, uploaded new results now under a 360mm AIO liquid cooler. The CPU retains in stock 5 GHz all core boost frequency but delivers a far better multi threaded score of 36,256 points. The AMD Ryzen 9 7950X is the flagship Zen 4 CPU with a price of 700 US dollar and targets Intel 12th Zen Core i9 12900K and the soon to launch 13900K i9 13900K. The CPU benchmark leaked over at Baidu forums via Harukazi5719. According to the leaker, the CPU is a close to retail chip that has a 4.5 GHz base clock, 5.7 GHz boost clock and an all-core boost frequency of 5 GHz. The chip was running at default clocks and a default voltage of 1.48 volt on a Gigabyte Aorus X670E Extreme motherboard with 16 GB of DDR5-5600 memory. The user reports that the board will cost around 5000 yuan or around 700 US dollar. But before the performance, let's talk about the specifications. Starting with the flagship of them all, we have the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X which retains its healthy 16 core and 32 thread count from the previous two generations. The CPU will feature an impressive base frequency of 4.5 GHz and a boost clock of up to 5.7 GHz, actually 5.85 GHz, a full max, which should make it 200 MHz faster than Intel's Alder Lake Core i9-12900KS, which has a boost frequency of 5.5 GHz on a single core. It looks like AMD is extracting every ounce of hertz that it could within that 170 watt TDP for the Ryzen 9 chips. As for the cache, the CPU comes with 80 megabyte of that, which includes 64 megabyte from L3, I mean uh, 32 megabyte per CCD, and 16 megabyte from L2, I mean 1 megabyte per core. The flagship is going to cost 700 US dollar, which means that it will be priced slightly higher than the Core i9-12900K while offering a significant performance leap in multi-trading apps such as Chaos V-Ray of up to 57% and doing so with up to 47% higher energy efficiency. In terms of gaming performance, the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X will be offering up to 35% higher uplift in games such as Shadow of the Tomb Raider versus the Core i9-12900K. AMD also showcased the performance of the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X against the Intel Core i9-12900K in both gaming and content creation tasks. The CPU was anywhere from minus 1% to plus 23% faster in the game ben gaming benchmarks and plus 36 to plus 62% faster in creation workloads. So that's all the official specifications, performance and prices. Uh, that AMD disclosed itself. Now, I have to see how the chip performs in the leaked Cinebench R23 benchmark result. The AMD Ryzen 9 7950X scored an impressive 2205 points in single core and 29,649 points in multi core tests. Now, comparing it to the Ryzen 9 5950X, it looks like the Gen 4 chip is going to crush the older Zen 3 chip entirely with a 34% single core and 50% multi core improvement. The CPU also ends up 7% faster in single core and 32% faster in multi core tests than the Core i9 12900K in single and multi core. Graymon55 has also posted the multi core threaded performance benchmarks for the two CPUs. The AMD Ryzen 7 7700X allegedly scores around 19,800 points while the Ryzen 5 7600X scores around 15,100 points. 
This puts the Ryzen 5 7600X 34% faster than its predecessor, but slower than the i5 12600K. At the same time, the Ryzen 7 7700X is around 29% faster than its predecessor, but slower than the Core i7 12700K. The performance was evaluated using an air cooler, so I can't say for sure if the chip was being affected by thermal throttling as that seems to be the case with many samples. With that said, I can also compare the performance of the Ryzen 9 7950X with the Raptor Lake flagship, the Core i9-13900K and see how it stacks up. It looks like the AMD Zen 4 CPU is around 4% slower in single and 10% slower in multi-core performance. That's quite the difference in multi-core performance but I also have to take into account the much higher 250 to 350 watt TDP that the Raptor Lake CPU will be running at. The leaker also reports that the chip can't seem to hit an all-core frequency of 5 GHz unless you are running water cooling. With, uh, with water cooling, the temperature doesn't exceed 100 degrees Celsius, but it also is not stable within Cinebench R23. AMD officially showcased a uh, plus 48% or plus 41% multi-threaded uplift in Cinebench R23 versus the 5950X and 12900K in their own presentation. So, there seems to be a big issue with this specific leak. As for memory performance, the ADA64 memory result is provided below uh, delivers around 89.6 nanoseconds. I don't know if Expo was enabled or not, but with the new tech, AMD is said to achieve lower latency of around 63 nanoseconds. More on Expo here. What I do know is uh, that uh, the motherboard is using an older F1 BIOS, whereas the latest one is F4, and Gigabyte doesn't even list any older BIOS prior to F3 for the X670E Aorus Master motherboard. So that should explain why the memory benchmark also shows poor result. These are really strong figures against the Gen 3 based Ryzen 5000 family, and I can't wait to see the AMD Ryzen 7000 chips hit retail on 27th September so users can enjoy some huge uplifts in the single and multi-core workloads. The AMD Ryzen 9 7950X and the Ryzen 5 7600X also appeared in the leaked Geekbench 5 benchmarks yesterday. So that's it from now. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications update. Thanks for watching.